Hello friends, welcome to bispsolutions.com. My name is Sumit and I am VP of CRM Solutions with BISP. Recently we got a requirement from our client that they would be requiring to display the multiple charts on a single VF Visual Force page by querying the data from opportunities and uh, they would like to display the total one opportunities in different charts based on the per month for the last year for a specific account. So we figured out this solution for our client so and I decided that I, I, I should share the same solution with you guys as well. So let's see how to add multiple charts on a visual force page on a single visual force page by using controllers. So in this recipe, we'll be going to use Visual Force page and controllers and wrapper class to know more about controllers, custom controllers and wrapper class. You can go through the previous videos. And I'm using my Salesforce developer account to completing the same scenario. So first of all, as you can see, we have got opportunities. And if I say if I list all the opportunities we have got around 33 opportunities in total and uh, I would like to create a visual force page here and this will display a table of bar chart which consists of nine different charts basically nine different accounts and uh, the total one opportunities values per month. So based on month, it will display the one opportunities. So first of all, let's create a VF page. So I create a pic slash and uh, multiple epic slash multiple charts. Or it should be like this epic slash multiple charts so it says that this chart the this page does not exist so there are other ways to create this visual force page and this is I'm getting this kind of error message. I'm not I'm not able to get any link here for creating this page because the developers mode has, is disabled. So let me enable development mode. So I go to my settings. Personal. Advanced user details and in advanced user details, I need to enable the development mode. So if we if this development mode is enabled disabled, we won't be able to uh, create a visual force page by using URL method. So now we have, I have enabled the development mode and now I'm going to you, I'm going to write the URL again, multiple charts. And this time it throw an error message and also gives me an option to create a new VF page. So I click on multiple charts, VF page and So let me write the code. So that's the code for the following program. And uh, as you can see here, first of all, we have added a controller named as chart table controller. And I set the title as charts. Then because I would like to include multiple charts. So that's why I'm using HTML table block. So table width is 100% borders width and so on. And I'm using one tag that is called apex colon repeat apex colon repeat is used for iteration and this would be getting the value from rows and where is equal to row where value is equal to row is row is basically it's a class so whatever number of we have we have a rows here in this table that will return to this repeat uh, tag then it would be getting the values from row chart and it would be defined as chart and then we display chart index the, we set the values as chart height, date, and uh, render to chart chart.idx, 
then we have index we have because we are going to display the bar chart so for bar chart it is mandatory that we need to define both the x axis and the y axis so that's the that's the code that's the code for define the x axis so this will define the x axis and this will define y axis and the bar series orientation is horizontal by default it is horizontal i can change it to vertical vertical and on x field i would like to display opportunity total and y field i would like to display name so that's the field name opportunity total and name now let's look at the controller so in this controller we'll be using the wrapper class so there are two wrapper classes first we have is chart data and another we have is row so we started with the list of month name so there is a static list and it, it stores the month name from january to december and uh, that month name stores into the, that list stores into month underscore name then we have a list called get row so get rows is basically is a function for the it's a function for the wrapper class it's a function for row wrapper class so this would be storing the values it would be storing the records into that particular class and uh, i said the limit is 9 because i want to i want to display only 9 i want to display the charts only for 9 accounts on a visual post page otherwise it will become too bulky if you want more number of accounts you can increase the limit or you can remove the limit so basically i would we'd be getting the account name and based on the account name we would be filtering the opportunities then uh, we have a get account chart data this uh, get account chart data is again a wrapper class and here there are three parameters will be passing the index string name and the month date so what for which month because one uh, we can have an opportunity for different different months so that's why we would be uh, extract we will be passing it as an indoor wrapper class and in this wrapper class we uh, we revert back the data onto the uh, visual force page then we have one more wrapper class for month data to store the month name and opportunity total so in a specific uh, this is for the month and what would be the opportunity total so that's the name and that's the opportunity total so in any case if any uh, if uh, there is no record for a month there is no data for any month so then for that we have created one random class so basically just for demonstration purpose only we created some number random data for empty months and that random number will be from 0 to 7,50,000 this is a random amount then finally we are using mapping functionality here and this mapping will be mapped with the integer and the month data and uh, we initiate a process and would we'll be getting the month data new month date month name dot get month name so for a specific month it will get the value and stored into the list and finally we would be writing a query we write some one sql query and we get the value for uh, we execute a query to to extract the id close date amount from opportunity whose account id is mapped with the account id which we have already extracted in the by using wrapper class and it would be between the close date and the end date and the end date and start date we have set here start date and end date start date would be current date dot add year minus one from previous year to current year so i would like to get all the current i mean i would like to get all the closed one opportunities for last one year for every month and display as uh, as a chart and time instance uh, the start would be 00, zero it would be the working hours and end would be 23 59 59 and 999 millisecond and when i save and execute when i run and save and run it this would be the this out this would be the output so as you can see here there are total nine charts on a single page and it says so these are the accounts this is a Gini point account this is united on guest company united on guest singapore these all are account name and these are the opportunities close total so that's the close total for a specific month there are some random data as well if you don't if you want only want a specific value so we can remove that random and it would work 
if we increase the limit we can because I have set the limit while extracting the account I, I said I increased I set the limit as 9 we can have more accounts and we can remove this limit or increase the limit as required so this functionality this methodology helps our clients to uh, display multiple charts on a single visual force page so that's all in this video I hope this video will help you to fulfill requirements for your clients if you have any queries you can visit us our website www.bspsolutions.com we are a niche service providers in Salesforce domain and uh, we would be giving uh, job support as well as consulting services both for Salesforce and Salesforce Wave Analytics also you can connect us for training support as well that's all keep watching have a nice day goodbye